In this video, we're going to experiment and see what happens when water is frozen. Here I have a frozen cup of water. Here I do not have a frozen cup of water. It is plain water. We mix food coloring so it's better to see. So basically, we're going to mark each one to see how much water level it's at. We're going to be putting the one that's not frozen in a freezer so we can see if the water level decreases or increases. And we're going to be taking the frozen water and we're going to be leaving it outside in room temperature to see if it increases or decreases. Right now, we're going to be marking it with a red a marker and we're going to be marking the water, the water level it's at. Then we're going to be leaving it for two hours and explain the science behind it from our results. So this is where I marked it, and this is the current water level. We'll put this outside in room temperature for two hours, and we'll put this in the freezer for two hours. Let's see what happens to the water. So we'll put this in a cup so it doesn't fall. And this we'll put in the freezer. After waiting for about 10 hours, we opened it, and this froze while this melted. If you look at the lines before, it shows where the water level was. And before, it was up here, but then it shrank. And over here, it was the water level was here, but it rose up a bit. Why didn't the um, ice shrink down like all the other substances? And why didn't the water rise up like all the other substances? Well, there's a science behind it. When it's frozen, what happens is the molecules inside, they turn into a hexagonal shape, like over here. And because of that, there are small, small holes between one hexagon and another. This is trapped with air, allowing the water level to rise. However, the water level all sinks when it turns from solid to liquid. The reason why is because the water molecules are all jammed inside, not allowing the air through. That is the reason the level decreased. Whereas here, Again, the, uh, it, it was an ordered arrangement where all the oxygen and hydrogen atoms were set in a hexagonal like shape and small holes were between these shapes which allowed air to fill in, making the water level higher. This is the unique property that water only has. To summarize what, we, what I just said, the water is frozen, the water level tends to expand, but if it's liquid, the water level tends to decrease.